Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to go ahead and talk about quick parts. Now quick parts, if you go under the insert tab at the top of the screen, these are your building blocks. Uh, these can be a number of different things depending on which application you're using. But the one that I wanna focus on right now is just your auto text entries. So notice here that I can go to auto text and I can automatically fill in things like my name or my initials, but you can save any chunk of content as a quick part. So for example, let's say that I made a little bit of random content here. And there are these three individual paragraphs and each of the three paragraphs is important to me. I find myself using these over and over and over again. So what I do there is I highlight the first paragraph. And if this is a thing I want to be able to insert at the moment's notice, I go up here to Quick Parts, and I just save that selection to my Quick Part Gallery, and I can call this one the Video Paragraph. Great. And then I highlight the next paragraph right here, go to Quick Parts, add the selection, and maybe call this one the uh, Professional Production. And then the last one, themes and styles, right? So I go to quick parts, I save that selection and I call it themes and styles. And you'll build these up over time. You'll have your own uh, set of chunks of content that you insert into emails over and over again. The problem I have with it is this. If I decide that I want to be able to insert a quick part, I would love to have a keyboard shortcut for that. But unfortunately in Outlook, there are so many different ribbons, we can't customize the, uh, the keyboard shortcuts. But what we can do is this. If we go to the insert tab at the top of the screen, we can go to the quick parts button over here on the insert ribbon right click on it and there's an option here that says add it to the quick access toolbar now the reason we do this besides the fact that it's easier to get to is that anything that's on the quick access toolbar immediately has a keyboard shortcut and it's actually a pretty easy one to remember so let's go ahead and do that right click on quick parts add it to the quick access toolbar. Now notice here that I've got it at the end of my ribbon, excuse me, on my quick access toolbar. Uh, I might decide to put that a little bit farther over to the left. To fix that, you go over here and hit the drop down menu. You go to more commands and you tell it, yeah, go ahead and take the quick parts and let's push that up, 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 up. You'll see in a second why I put this as the first entry, because I, I feel like it's a very important uh, choice here. So I'll click OK. And as you can see, my first button on the far left is Explore Quick Parts. Now watch how easy this is to use. I tap the Alt key on the keyboard, and instantly you can see that the elements on the Quick Access toolbar are numbered in sequential order as to what their shortcut is. So from now on, my keyboard shortcut for inserting quick parts into my email is just Alt-1. It's that easy. So I tap 1, and then I can say, oh, do I want to insert my professional production paragraph, my themes and styles paragraph, or my video paragraph? Oh, I need to insert my themes and styles paragraph. I just use my arrow keys to go down to that one and hit Enter. And there it is. I've dropped that paragraph in with basically no pain at all. So again, just Alt-1 and we choose the video paragraph and the video paragraph gets dropped in and again i can close out this email so then later you write a new email to somebody you click on the new email button uh, you go into the body of that email hi bob da 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 and then at a certain point you need to insert one of those paragraphs just hit alt one and then themes and styles and that paragraph gets dropped right in so easy to use. 